This is the Dyson V15 Detect Total Clean Extra. This thing can be kind of pricey, so I'm gonna go over it just in case you're deciding whether to get one or not. Hopefully the review will help. Now, I've noticed that it, as you'll notice, it does open up this way, which a lot of vacuum cleaners that I've seen don't seem to do that. They open on one end of the other and everything just kind of slides out. But having this open on the side should be fairly nice. There we go. Limited guarantee, fantastic. And all of the pieces, I'll just show these off one by one. I don't know why I'm trying to be delicate with cardboard. Now I want to note that it does come with this piece here. On the side, it lists some of the parts, and I, I didn't see this one. In one of the pictures, there is a hose, and I don't think the hose is available in this. It's like Christmas presents all wrapped up. This is probably what you'll be using most often. I do like the swivels on these. Fluffy optic carbon fiber. Fantastic. A little springy wall mounting plate. What you do is that you put the charger in here and so it hangs out of your wall and goes up inside there with another attachment. You can just set the whole vacuum on there and it charges. Got some more scrubbing heads here. This thing comes with a lot of accessories. And a lot of cardboard. This is that charging brick. The main unit here, it does have a little bit of charge in it. This one has a screen here. Button to select. Hold the button. Okay, we hold it and it'll select your language. English selected. Yeah, we've got different selections here. Boost. Boost, I think, is... Yeah, Boost is a very powerful one. Medium. Eco. That's kind of a uh, really soft suction. So depending on your needs, you can adjust it. That actually is pretty awesome. Battery, it does detach. Some of the other models, they would have three dots right here. And it would light up depending on how, how much of a charge you had. This doesn't have that. This does empty with this here. And it springs open. One thing that's not so fun about that design, it does work most of the time, but if you suck up a lot of long hairs and drop that out, they'll get stuck in here. And when you close it, if you don't see it, they get jammed up in here. That's not fun. It comes with some uh, map you can download and some more accessories that I didn't see were in there. This thing is loaded with accessories. What I was talking about before how to mount this, there, there is instructions for this, but I'll give a quick breakdown of of how to do it. So you mount this piece on your wall, there's some screws in here. You screw them in. I'd suggest doing it into a stud, otherwise you're gonna rip the drywall right out over time. This pops into here, the charger cord goes up inside here, points up like that. And so this, after you snap it all together, basically will be hanging like that. So you can just set it on to charge like that. But if you're gonna go that route, make sure that you have enough support on the wall. So it doesn't rip your wall apart. Part of the manual, it does come with, I didn't see this before, it does come with the instructions on how to mount it. Three and a half hours for a full charge. Uh, if it's dead, dead, about three and a half hours. It comes with the assembly instructions, how to charge it. Getting started, you do choose the language like you did before, you long press and it'll select. Now, if you if you quickly press it, it'll go through the menus. Recommended auto medium setting, longer cleans for eco, which is a little weaker, and boost mode for intensive spot cleaning. And how you use it is you just hold the trigger and it goes. Now the fluffy cleaner head, it says that it makes invisible dust visible on hard floors. It actually has the microns broken down here. So allergens, microscopic dust, dust mite sugar, the remaining runtime. I do like that, that is a great feature. Automatically detailed tangles hair. I've used another one of these and the detangling does work to a point. Once the vacuum gets a little bit older, it stops doing that, but you can take the head apart and clean it. And I showed you how to empty it. Bin removal. Now to take the whole thing apart, you're not going to end up doing that a whole lot unless you're using it in the spot where you have a lot of hair and a lot of dust, then it can get caught up inside there and you got to take it apart and kind of wipe it out. A big selling point for some people may be that versus a vacuum you just plug into the wall and you've got to have plugged in the whole time. This one, it's fairly lighter than a lot of vacuums. Still, it's a little heavy if you're not too terribly strong. Say you want to do your stairs. You can just plug this straight in like that and then you can kind of bend over, get in there. Now, if you have, if you're fairly tall, you don't want to bend over, you can plug the entire thing in. It's nice if you just want to stand and do it on your stairs. This doesn't have the electrical going through it so you can't run the head through that. Not that you'd want the heavy head pivoting on that. Could break it. 
This does seem a bit backwards to me. Because if you're trying to get under a couch, see how it's like that? And it's pointed straight, you're gonna have to tilt like this to get it to get that under your couch. And that seems a little odd. It seems like it should go the other way so you can have it pointed up while going under a couch. Now for reaching high up into high up places, yeah, this, this works to reach high up, but not for going under anything where there's not a lot of space. I'm not gonna go over all the standard accessories that you get with pretty much any vacuum. That's what we have in the bag right here. I'm gonna go over the specialty stuff that comes with this. It's mainly these two and the head that comes with it. First off, the head that comes with it, Pretty standard stuff, but then you get the, the, the Dyson ball that they're really known for. They can get pretty much into anything. And right here, this doesn't provide more or less suction. Well, what it does is it lowers these right here to then, it can provide more suction by doing that. The plus lowers it all the way down. You get actually more suction because no air will get through there. Well, less of it will. And you get the standard and then minus is all the way up. So you're gonna get more airflow through here and less suction through there. So that's that's what the standard head does. And this is the hair screw. You can put it on the full wand all the way down. It does have the electrical going to it, so that's what helps spin it. Now this is for using it on or sucking up large amounts of hair or if you have a long haired dog or cat and there's hair all over the place. This won't get tangled and stuck like some of the other parts will. This will actually suck them up pretty well. Yeah, I mean, you do it a lot and it's gonna get stuck. You're bound to you get enough hair into anything, it's gonna get clogged, you have to clean it. But it does open up and you can adjust it this way. So if you want to stand up straight and do it, you can. If you want to do it at an angle, you can. Then you can just put it on the main head itself. Now this here, this is the showstopper. This is what I think is great. I've attached it straight to it right here just because of how I'm recording. The great thing about this is the green light that shines through here. So if you were to look on the floor straight down and get down, put your face on the floor, which nobody really wants to do, you'd be able to see all sorts of dust and dirt and whatnot that you can't really see top down, just looking straight down. This, however, provides you with a light that you can see that stuff. So right there, I believe it is, you'd be able to see something. And you can't really know with the naked eye, but with the green light, you can, even in the light, even in the light of the room. So I think that, that is pretty great. Now this doesn't work well on carpet. You, you don't want to use it on carpet, it's too much suction but on a flat, hard surface. This thing is really great. So you can get all over the place, get stuff you didn't know that you missed. And one kind of nasty thing is if you're in the kitchen and you see an odd kind of spot, I'm not in the kitchen right now, so I can't show up, but if there's something dried on the floor, you will be able to see it with the green light, which will let you know to wipe whatever kind of sticky stuff you got when you were cooking that's on the floor, wipe that up. One thing that can be useful, just depending on who you are and how you clean, is that the battery is removable. This one does last for quite a bit if you're not using a whole bunch of carpet. But if you've got a really big house with a lot of carpet and a couple pets, you may want to get a secondary battery or maybe look into a different vacuum that leans more towards like the industrial side. But if you're strictly dealing with a lot of hair, this is great. Um, the price point of this entire vacuum set can be a little steep. Dyson does have pretty good filters. They've even got air filters and whatnot, but we're not here for that. We're here for the vacuum. Now this filter, it just looks like any other filter, but it does slide onto there. the center part is stationary that will stay just where it is and it just snaps in you can clean these or you can just buy them separately if you tend to swap batteries out what you might want to do is actually get a second one of these because if this gets nasty and over the course of a couple batteries and you need to clean this you can clean it and it's it stays wet you can't there's no really drying you just gotta let it sit out you can get a second one slap this on while you're using a different battery and you can just kind of go through them but again, if you're going that route, you might want to look at something more commercial than this. The only gripe I have with this is really just a personal preference. It's just me being kind of nitpicky. If you set this up against something, because of the weight of it, it will fall. You have to either have it straight. Oh, it's, it's even starting to wiggle away from me. It will fall uh, because of the ball right there. I wish there was a locking mechanism on there somehow, but that would add some extra girth to it and it might not work the greatest, especially if you're in a dusty area with a lot of pet hair or what have you. So that's more of a personal thing. But if you're looking into getting one of these vacuums, I think it's a fantastic vacuum. And you just gotta be aware of that, that you can't set it down on something or up against a couch and not expect it to fall unless you've got it like right in the corner. Personally, I think this is a great vacuum. I'm gonna give it 10 out of 10 Dyson spheres because this works fantastic. The hair screw works pretty well. And this, with the green light, I think is one of the greatest things to ever happen to a vacuum cleaner, is you just see all the junk that's all over your floor. And then coupled with screen that you can go through 
all sorts of different things. And you can do languages, turn on alerts off and on, there are your particle counts, motor sensitivity, and there you go, and exit the menu. But just the fact that you have that is great, but you're gonna pay for it. It is, it, it can be spendy. So just keep that in mind if you're looking for one of these, but again, 10 out of 10, I really like this thing.